Hour after hour, day after day, year after year, Lego changes. Start with one little piece and see how it grows. Before a family toy company in Denmark stopped producing high quality wooden toys to focus on their plastic brick toy system. This is a genuine, original, first generation Lego automatic binding brick. Before stepping on a Lego brick would make you scream like this. Before the Space Shuttle Endeavour brought 13 LEGO kits to the International Space Station to test how they would react in microgravity. Uh, why did they do that? Do they not have better things to do? Like finding extraterrestrial life? I don't know. Before a 5 million brick life-sized model of an X-Wing fighter became the largest ever and was put on display in New York in May of 2012. There is, uh, it, no, how many? Let's see. There are 5.3 million bricks in the model. Before there was ever a Lego Land, a series of Lego video games, board games, and books, oh, and a Lego movie. I know what you're thinking. He is the least qualified person to lead us. And you are right. <laughs> The Lego company traces its roots back to Danish carpenter named Ole Kirk Christensen, who began making wooden toys in the early 1930s. Over the next few decades, he and his son Godfred would turn the humble toy workshop into the largest toy company in the world, now valued at over 14.6 billion, with almost 14,000 employees and annual revenue surpassing $5 billion. I know. That's a lot of coin for just some simple assembly blocks, but Lego's taken over the industry. I mean, did you see their movie? I'm Batman. It was great. While Kael Christensen, the founder's grandson, is now the richest man in Denmark, his family's road to success, well, it's had its fair shares of bumps along the way. The wholesaler had filed for bankruptcy, so he didn't have much money and had to dismiss his last worker. We're in big trouble. Now we can't even afford food, but at least now it can't get much worse. But it did get worse. Shortly after, Ole lost his wife. Yeesh! That was ugly! And Lego, they released that film themselves. Ugh! What's going on guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the story of the Lego Toy Company, here for you on Before They're Famous. I want to give a special thanks to Nick Nikowski, who made this all possible. You can check him out over on his own channel, Nikowski Pictures, and he made this stop motion Lego animation all possible. Definitely check out his channel by clicking the TV right now. There's also a link in the description box down below. I've done Before They're Famous videos on a few other corporations in the past, so be sure to check those out. And as always, let me know in the comments down below who or what you want me to document next. I actually look pretty good like this. Maybe I would look better with a hat. Let's see. Huh. Yeah. Real funny, Nick. All right, man. Switch me back. Whoa. Ah, 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 ah. This is embarrassing. Roll that intro. An der Straße zu dem Haus mit der Hütte für den Hund und bei gutem Wetter kann man oben vom Turm ganz unten den kleinen Hund erkennen. <lacht> mit Lego kann man alles bauen. The Lego Group began back in 1932 in Billen, Denmark, when Carpenter by the name of Ole Kirk Christensen began making wooden toys in his workshop. He had originally bought the shop back in 1916, although it had later burnt down in 1924, forcing Ole to rebuild. But that was only the first of many fires the Lego company would experience. The workshop is on fire! It burned to the ground, and all the drawings and models were destroyed. Gottfried was left on his own, and he had to go through another fire at Lego that destroyed most of the wood production. Ole's original workshop didn't make toys, it mainly shaped wood pieces needed to construct houses and furniture. But after the Great Depression hit in the early 1930s, business wasn't exactly booming, so Ole needed to think smaller. He began to produce wooden toys, cars and trucks, piggy banks, and pull toys. Like this wooden duck thing that kind of reminds me of the Duck Roll Duck. Okay, now I'm getting distracted. During these years, Ole relied heavily on the help of his son, Godfred, who'd help in the workshop and running the business. Presumably, there weren't any children labor laws in Denmark at the time. That I'm not sure about, but I'm pretty sure it was okay. Or at least Lego's letting us know it was. Because they're like, he's part of the story. With his business back on track, Ole decided it was time to name his company. The name Legos was a contraction of the Danish phrase Legot, which means play well. Although he didn't know it at the time, Lego is also Latin for to assemble. 
but it wouldn't be until just after World War II that the LEGO company would begin to produce their signature bricks. The colorful plastic blocks had nodules at the top, allowing them to interlock. But LEGO was by no means the first company to produce its plastic automatic binding bricks. Ole had been inspired by the Kitty Craft Company's self-locking bricks, developed earlier in 1947. In fact, he was so inspired that the bricks were virtually identical. And even before the Kitty Craft bricks, there were the plastic American bricks launched in 1946, Kitty Craft's largest wooden self-locking bricks from 1939, American bricks made of compressed wood from the same year, and before those, rubber interlocking bricks from companies like Mini Bricks and Bildo Bricks, stretching all the way back to 1934. Yeah, a lot of people ripping off one another. Of significance is the fact that LEGO was quite late to the party and started out cloning someone else's patented design. During the 1950s, the LEGO company was doing so well that Ole and Gottfried focused on expansion, expanding from their humble workshop into a modern toy factory. In 1954, Gottfried traveled to England and met a purchasing agent on a ferry. While talking toys, this agent tells him that he thinks toys lack an idea and system. This idea stuck with Gottfried and the next year, LEGO introduced its system of play, a new play platform emphasizing the importance of learning through play. Lego, a whole new world to build. The same year, Lego began exporting their toys internationally, first to Sweden, but soon they would be found all over the world. And that means dads everywhere were hurting their feet. Gottfried then set out to improve the Lego bricks themselves, adding cylinders to the inside of the bricks, allowing them to hold together more firmly, paving the way for bigger, more elaborate Lego constructions. Speaking of which, here's the biggest thing ever made by Lego. It's huge. Yeah, that's a life-size model of an X-Wing designed to look just like one in the real world. This thing took 32 master builders with over 5 million Lego bricks to put together. It's 11 feet high, 43 feet long, and it weighs over 45,000 pounds. That's one big Lego creation. All right, that's in the present. Let's get back to the past. Gottfried, he went out to make new bricks in 1958, and then this happened. Unfortunately, Ole never got to see how successful the little brick actually became. That's right, Ole died the same year, leaving the company solely in the hands of Gottfried. Under Gottfried's leadership, Lego discontinued its wooden toys to focus solely on the plastic bricks, expanded sales considerably, and opened the first Legoland theme park in 1968. In 1969, they added the Duplo bricks, extra large for younger kids, an idea they took, once again, from Kitty Craft. Finally, in 1994, Gottfried passed the Lego torch down to the third generation, naming his son Kiel Kirk Christensen, CEO of the Lego Group. And for the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is Before They're Famous. My name's Michael McCredden. Thanks for watching Before They're Famous. I've done other corporations in this series, including Google, McDonald's, Walmart, and Coca-Cola. Be sure to check those out. And also, of course, my many bios on living, breathing people. And if you want to see more stop motion Lego animation, be sure to check out Nick Nikowski. There's a link in the description box down below. All right, guys, I'll see you in another video. Where's my dress at? I want to put that back on.